Jack Ma's life is perhaps the greatest example of success through failure. He failed primary school twice and middle school three times. He also failed his university entry exam three times. He was rejected by the police force and even KFC. He applied for Harvard ten times and was rejected each and every time. Now, he is one of the richest people in the world as the founder of Alibaba, one of the biggest e commerce companies on the planet. In 2009 and 2014, Ma made it onto Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People and was also selected as one of China's most powerful people by Businessweek, even appearing on the front page of Forbes magazine. Although Ma failed his university entrance exam twice, scoring less than 1% in maths, he eventually passed and began studying English at the Hangzhou Teachers Institute. After graduating, he applied for 30 different jobs but was rejected for all of them. Out of the 24 people who applied for KFC, Ma was the only one to be rejected. He also applied for the police force, but was rejected and told he was no good. In 1999, after having left the government job, Ma gathered a group of 17 of his friends and pitched the idea of an online marketplace for small and medium-sized businesses. To secure funding for this venture, Ma traveled to the U.S. once again, this time to Silicon Valley to pitch his idea. But he faced a familiar obstacle as his idea was rejected and criticized as being unprofitable and unsustainable. Through persistence, Ma was eventually able to secure funding of 5 million US dollars from Goldman Sachs and 20 million US dollars from SoftBank. However, in 2003, the future still looked bleak for Alibaba, with the company failing to make any revenue within the first three years and facing bankruptcy within 18 months. As the Chinese economy was still in its infancy at the time, businesses and government authorities were skeptical about the idea of an online marketplace, in dissension amongst a number of his team who ended up walking out on him. His idea for Alibaba was rejected and criticized by investors as unprofitable and unsustainable. The idea of creating an online store came from Ma discovering the lack of Chinese beer in online search results. This led him to create his second venture online called China Page, which listed Chinese businesses and products. This sparked a flood of emails from people all over the world seeking to form partnerships. In order to expand and obtain more funding, Ma decided to partner with a government company. Unfortunately, as the company gained majority control over the venture, this stifled Ma's vision for the business and led to his departure from the company. Ma then took up a government job at the Ministry for Foreign Trade and Economic Cooperation, through which he was able to build connections with people of influence such as one of the founders of Yahoo, Jerry Yang. Ma came up with the idea for an online marketplace after a search for Chinese beer turned up nothing in the search results. But Ma was able to pick up the pieces and unify his remaining team to take Alibaba forward, challenging established online businesses like eBay who already had existing operations in China. Within five years, Ma and Alibaba managed to drive eBay out of business in China, and with the help of further funding from Yahoo founder Jerry Yang, Alibaba was able to expand and grow further into the international market. In 2014, Alibaba made history through the world's largest IPO to date. The company has continued to grow from strength to strength, scaling its operations into various industries such as technology and logistics, turning the online business into one of the world's largest conglomerates today.